Hi everybody! Before I show you the Jerusalem artichokes, I wanted to give you a look at what the chia flower looks like. It's kind of interesting, but um, it's pretty too. I like it. It's got a nice pretty blue color. Here's a few more that are growing in a little different area. And I can tell that they're not really like in the colder nights because the leaves are starting to shrivel. This came from just one plant. And look at the size of these. They're huge. They're all knotted and gnarly. This is the first time I've grown Jerusalem artichokes. Look at this one. It looks like it's starting to sprout again. Right there. So I'm glad I dug it up. Yes, you like the smell. Okay. I'm going to take you out and show you the plant I got it from. Here's the plant, and it came from one, one bulb, even though it sprouted three stems. So let me show you the other one I have. Okay, this is the one that's still in the box that I'm going to be digging up now. And um, it doesn't lift up real easy, so I have to dig around with the, look, there's some on the surface there. But I have to dig around a little bit, and I'm trying to do it gently and hold the camera which isn't working so great, but um, the sandy soil makes it a little bit easier. This one's hard. Okay, I'm going to just um, dig around here, and then I'll pull the whole thing up. One thing you can see, when you have see those long roots things there, you can feel around, and there's going to be a bulb nearby. Okay, I got it loosened up enough so I could pull it all out, and that way I could pick these off. And look at that, they're big. There's a lot on each plant. So let me just pick these all off, and then I'll show you the other plants I have. I've shown you these before. They're in the wine barrels next to the chicken coop. Um, but what I did in these is I planted three bulbs in each wine barrel. So I'm kind of anxious to see the difference on the production coming out of a pot versus the whole bed. So here's the grand total from both plants. And I'm going to rinse these off really good and let them dry. And then I'm going to take them inside and figure out some recipes that I can make with these. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon. I'll be back to show you what I do with these. Take care. Bye-bye.